Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part four of our series of session on the playlist of utilities. So in this session, we will learn a couple of more tricks. In fact, it is more of a trick rather than utility. But nevertheless, I am going to consider this video as part of the utility. So in this session, we will see how you can filter your chart of account for a respective group for you to analyze. And also we will see how you can quickly identify the unused masters and you can delete them at one go. Let us go to tally and explore these options. Generally, if we want to analyze the master structure, the one place where we go is the chart of account, enter and then you say ledger and we are going to get the list of all the ledger masters that has been created in the company for you to analyze the master structure, their grouping, the subgrouping and other things. And if you want to see other master, so we have this other master here. When we click here, we can view the inventory masters, cost center masters and all things. Now, let us say that uh, you want to analyze a particular group. For example, you want to only view the ledger masters of uh, say sundry debtors. Like for example, if you see here, the sundry debtors list is here and in certain companies you will have a longer list of sundry debtors. So how do we now filter because from the chart of account we can't filter the particular group. Let us see now how we can get the list of only the ledgers under the group sundry debtors. So for that what we do display more report accounts book and then we can go to group summary or from go to also you can go to group summary okay so here you select sundry debtors now this is the group summary with the values of the sundry debtors so now what you do is you click on go to and now you type chart of account enter and when you say ledger you will notice that you are now able to view only the ledgers under the group of sundry debtors. So this way it helps you to better manage your masters for various updates. For example, if we come to exceptional report and then you can go here, you can validate email. Click here, it is going to give you the list where you can enter at one go you can enter the contact person mobile number telephone number email id you can also update the gstn of the party so click on exceptional report here and come here update party gstn enter and here you can select name of the group sundry debtors all item so you will get a list here and here you can quickly go and enter the GSTN of the customers for whom the GSTN is not captured. Similarly, you can view any group's ledger by using this simple trick of going to the group summary and then getting into the chart of account. So if you want to change to say sundry creditors, again very simple, just come here and press F4 for group and now you select creditors you're getting the detail of creditors we're going to press alt g and then you are going to select the chart of account enter ledgers and here we are going to get the list of all sundry creditors there is another fast trick that you can perform with the chart of account where let us say you want to view the list of all the ledgers which are unused in the company Normally, this is going to be very helpful when you are splitting the data and when you are going into the new financial year, you will have a lot of ledgers which you would have not transacted or you don't want to transact in the current year. So again, how do we use this feature of chart of account and view the unused ledgers so that as a user, you can decide what ledgers you want to retain and 
the ledgers that you want to eliminate or delete now here the best part is that you can select multiple ledgers for deleting so let us see how we can achieve this so now straight away let us go to chart of account from gateway of tally select ledgers now we are getting the list of all ledgers so come to exceptional report or you can press ctrl j click on exceptional report and if you see here you have this option called show unused so click on show unused and this is where you are going to get the list of all the ledgers which have not been transacted in the current year now you can decide whether you want to delete this link remember that whenever you are viewing the button bar the right side button bar and any button if it is got left pointing blue color arrow that means there are hidden action buttons under that particular button similarly if you come here to the bottom button bar you will see that space bar is to select a particular master if you want to select all the masters then you will see this blue color arrow pointing upward so click here so there are other hidden button here if you want to select all you can use the keyboard shortcut control space bar because just below space bar we have double underline so control space bar so if i say control space bar all the masters are getting selected if you don't want to select all if you want to do selectively you want to select the ledgers then very simple all you have to do is just click here come down to the ledger that you want to further select click here and then click here which means space bar you have to enter space bar so now three ledgers have been selected all you need to do is press alt d now tally is going to ask you whether you want to delete this selected ledgers if you just press yes you will notice that your selected ledgers which is not been in use in the current year has been deleted i hope the simple tricks would be of great assistance for a regular user of tally you can start exploring these options and enhance your experience or you are working with tally more pleasurable so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much